we wanted to cover a little further Google's uh, Duet AI for Google Workspace. Now, in a previous podcast, we talked about how Google had released Duet AI, which is an AI co-pilot that works across different Google Workspace apps. So think things like Docs, Sheets, Slides, Gmail, and Google Meet. And we actually at Marketing AI Institute took a pretty deep dive into the capabilities in Duet AI across these different apps in our you know, Google business account. And over the last week, especially, we've spent hours kind of kicking the tires of different Duet AI capabilities across all the main apps. and. You know, at least I definitely have some thoughts on how marketers and business leaders can take advantage of these new AI capabilities and what they should know. So we wanted to do something a little different here. And, you know, Paul, you can maybe kind of set the stage of where we're at when it comes to us as an organization trying to experiment with this technology. And then I can dive into some of the takeaways, some of the things we tried, some of the things we found as we explored these apps. Yeah, I think it was last week's episode we talked about, one, you, you need a, a Google admin access in your workspace. So if you're a listener and you don't have admin access, you're going to need someone in your organization that does. So this, again, is assuming you're using Google Workspace in your, your company. These same type of capabilities will be available through Microsoft Copilot as well. Um, but right now, Google's sort of first to market with wide scale availability. So you need someone in your organization to turn on admin access and then assign the Duet AI licenses to users. So in our case, we selected a small group of people within the organization to test it. And what we did, and this is what I would kind of recommend, is again, have someone be the point. So we made Mike the point person for testing throughout the week, just so we could talk about it today. We're not done with our testing, but get initial reactions. We created a single doc in Google Docs as a sandbox for experiences. And what we'll often do is put like subheads for Paul, Mike, Kathy, Tracy, like whatever, we'll put the people in and then you'll have those people go through and make their notes. And then the, the, the tertiary he like heading would be um, Gmail experience, docs experience, sheets experience. So kind of create an organized way to document what you're going through, however your organization does it. So for us, that's how we'll often do it when we're just throwing something together quick. And so that's what we did here was I turned on the access from admin. I assigned licenses out. We created the doc and said, okay, when you have a chance to go through and do this, you know, organize your thoughts here, your experiments, uh, your questions, anything about that. And then we can go back in. So we're sort of short, um, sharing uh, on, the, on the fly here. Like we're still in the midst of testing, but we wanted to be able to report back some tangible thoughts uh, so far. And again, for us, we threw Mike in the lead here. And so we're going to kind of turn over and let Mike walk through some of his thoughts related to Duet AI and Google Workspace. So I'll try to keep this brief, but just to kind of contextualize this for people, because not only is this, I think, instructive for what can you actually find in Duet AI features, but also just kind of a look at kind of maybe a V1 process of how I'm kind of thinking about these tools or any type of AI technology. So I actually started off not even by using the technology. I started off by actually trying to dive into anything that would give me an overview of what's even possible here. And so Google actually had a really helpful handbook that we can link to in the show notes that came with um, one of the blog posts on Duet AI. So it was about 15 pages or so. So I kind of skimmed through that and really just tried to get a sense of, okay, where do I start? What use cases might I want to explore? And there are is this really good section on five ways to use Duet AI to work smarter. And they break it down in the following way. First, it can help you write. So across different apps, you're getting some writing assistance. It can help you organize. You can organize data. It can help you visualize. There are ways to create art uh, and images from simple prompts. It can help you connect. It says you can use AI to have better calls with enhanced video, audio, and custom background. And last but not least, it can help you create an app. Uh, you can actually use certain features across some of Google's tools to build business apps using language prompts. Now, I will say full disclosure, I did not test that feature. Maybe we'll do that moving forward. But I wanted to really get started with tools that we were super familiar with and that we used every day. 